in this class we are going to see about computational method in design and manufacture as the name indicates uh, that computer methods <coughs> which are going to be used in the design field as well as manufacturing field why do we use computer methods because computers are very powerful today and more affordable today <coughs> in 50 to 60 years back uh, people were uh, uh, solving the problem using analytical methods but uh, as the material development took place uh, and as well as the geometry of the component becomes uh, more complex people were not able to use uh, uh, analytical methods so that's why they started using numerical methods They started uh, using. They started uh, to solve the complex problem by using numerical methods. <coughs> there are three methods are popular in numerical methods. They are one is finite element method. or finite element analysis the second one is finite difference method and the third one is boundary element method So there are three types of numerical methods, finite element method or finite element analysis and finite difference method and the third one is boundary element method. Of these three methods, finite element method is uh, extremely popular today. We can solve very complex problems by using finite element method. Uh, if we if we take the softwares which are available for finite element method, uh, we may count around uh, four four hundred to five hundred. If we include commercial softwares, it will go up <coughs> beyond five hundred. So uh, it indicates how much importance in finite element method. Likewise, <coughs> around the nineteen sixties or seventies, there were only ten to fifteen papers were presented on finite element method. But now, uh, 15,000 to 20,000 papers on finite element method have been published. <laughs> so, from this, you can uh, know the importance of finite element method. So, what is finite element method? Finite element method, from this finite element method, we, are, we can find stress, we can find strain, we can find the displacements, <laughs> then we can find temperature, so there are a lot of stresses, strain, displacements, varieties and we can find using finite element method. <laughs> uh, in American, the Boeing aircraft company, uh, they wanted to determine the stresses which are acting on the uh, aircraft wings because it was very disturbed during the second world war that's why they came to the <coughs> MIT professors and they identified the stresses which are acting in the aircraft stresses okay. so, so it's, it's a very very <coughs> important subject in final element method we can solve, for an example, I'm going to take a problem. Okay, this is a sheet. 
the sheep is like this the sheep is a, in a, it's not in normal shape it is a very complicated uh, shape of sheep for an example i am going to ask you how to find how to find area of this sheet how to find this we cannot find it in uh, analytic we can find that we can find it by using analytical way but it's uh, very difficult to find it will take lot of time to find the area of the sheet you can consider this as a whole square of the sheet and we have to subtract all this uh, unremaining unwanted portion but it's not necessary so using finite element method we can find the for example i have given area but we are going to find stresses strain displacement like for an example i have taken area how to find this first what i am going to do i am going to divide this component or this sheet into number of elements for example first step i am going to divide this sheet into number of segments or here that segments are called as elements okay so first i have taken this triangle as one this rectangle as two then this semicircle i have taken as a three then there is a hole at the center Let me mark it as four. What is the second step? I am going to find area of these individual components. So what I am going to do? I am going to find. Area of this triangle, and I am going to find this area of the rectangle, and I am going to find this area of the semicircle, and also I am going to find this area of the hole, which is in a circular shape. Then, what is the next step? What would be the next step? I am not going to add this because there is a hole at the center; it has to be subtracted. So, what I do is I use assemble the individual components. Assemble it. So the triangle area of the triangle should be added with the area of the rectangle, as well as this uh, area of the semicircle should be added, and the area of the hole or a circle has to be subtracted. So this is the concept. For what I am going to do, I am going to divide the complicated shape, <coughs> which is not. used to find the solution by using analytical method because why because the geometry is very complex is a very quite difficult so i what i do i divide this shape or I divide this component into number of convenient number of elements this one is called as element number 1 element number 2 element number 3 and element number 4 i have taken the, the number element number 1 uh, is <coughs> surrounded by a circle okay so this is the concept by using this concept i am going to find the stresses which are acting on the bob the stresses which are acting on the beam the stresses which are acting on the <coughs> trusted component which is normally in the form of triangle then i am going to find in a rectangle also we are going to see it Okay. First, I am going to find out the stresses. I am going to find out the stresses which are acting on one-dimensional components. Components are stretches. 
what are the one dimensional components there are one is bar and another one is b what could be what is bar and what is b bar is nothing but okay the this is the axis of this bar here the load is applied that is b here is the bar and here is the axis of this uh, structure the load is applied like this so if the load is applied parallel to the axis of the structure it is called bar whereas if the load is applied perpendicular to the axis of the shaft this is called as b 